113th Original Santa Claus Parade is almost here. I'm Brandon Rowe at Santa's Secret Workshop, where some busy elves are preparing for tomorrow's parade. It's fun. I can't say much more than that, actually. <laughs> Simple fun. And Ian Gregory would know. He's been helping to put the finishing touches on floats for almost 30 years. Tons of work. I mean, most of the time we are 12 hours a day towards, towards the end. And then right up, and some people are here up until 9, maybe 10 o'clock, maybe even the morning. We all know our favorite floats, the ones we look forward to seeing every year. Jeff Shimko is one of the many artists who spent countless hours sculpting and painting some of your favorites. Well, it feels great. It's like that. that's the payoff. It's, uh, you know, it's work doing it, but, um, you know, seeing people appreciate it, uh, uh, you know, as an artist, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's gratifying. The floats are painted and sculpted by paid artists, but they're being moved today and driven tomorrow by volunteers, some who've been doing this for years. About 26 years. 26 years. Why do, why do you do it? Why do you keep coming back? It's, it's just such a wonderful day, seeing all those kids and their smiling faces. For Toronto Paramedic Service, it's a great opportunity for us to be able to come out here and drive the floats for them. Uh, it's something not everybody gets to do. We very much would not be able to function without all of our volunteers. Santa's elves might be stuck in the North Pole today, so the Toronto Boy Scouts and Girl Guides chipped in where they could. Giving back to the community is a vital part of scouting, so here we are. Tomorrow's big day does come with some road closures. University Avenue from Bloor to Wellington Street West, Wellington between University and Young Street, Young between Wellington and Front Street, and Front between Young and Jarvis Street. There is also a change to this year's parade. The new route changes is like this. We start at Bloor and Christie and go east on Bloor Street, down University Avenue, down the northbound lanes of University Avenue to Wellington. East on Wellington to Young, down Young to Front and along Front to Jarvis, which is where it ends. The change is to show off Santa's Village at the newly renovated Bercy Park. Just some of the changes kids and the kids at heart can expect at this year's Santa Claus Parade. Toronto Police is encouraging anyone heading out to tomorrow's parade to take public transit. Go Transit is offering special fares and additional service, and full subway and streetcar service is available. At Santa's Secret Workshop, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.